What does it mean to transform enterprise security? It can mean a lot of things to many different people, from effectively responding to the evolving internal and external cyber threats an organization faces, to managing and reducing risk along the digital attack surface. It can be even defined as managing and resolving risks outside of the traditional IT infrastructure, such as DevOps, the cloud, and operational technology. With these critical capabilities in mind, let's take a look at an example of how ServiceNow is helping one organization transform their enterprise security. Meet Sarah. She's the chief information officer for a large multinational bank. As CIO, Sarah has a lot on her shoulders, like weighing the pressures of the current economic environment, and all that implies, with ensuring her company rapidly and effectively responds if and when a crisis event occurs. When a major security incident does happen, Sarah is notified about it via text and logs into her dashboard to review. The CIO dashboard, available from the ServiceNow store, gives Sarah an at-a-glance security and risk overview of the various areas of her organization's infrastructure. In this case, she opens the Security tab and can see information about the Security Operations Center's incident response status, how vulnerabilities are being managed, how quickly things are being patched, and how well their organization is doing to meet compliance benchmarks. Sarah sees that there is indeed a major security incident, so she logs into the Major Security Incident Response Dashboard. From here, she is given a wealth of information about the current incident, including the overall impact assessment, incident timeline, who's involved in handling the crisis event, current status, actions, and more. Sarah wants to know more, so she contacts Adam, the head of cyber operations for the bank, and the person responsible for making sure the business is not impacted when the worst case scenario happens. Part of Adam's job is to make sure everything is responded to quickly and accurately as the various security incidents and vulnerabilities are being remediated and that tasks are being assigned and managed appropriately. The visual task board helps him do just that. We can see that patches are already being scheduled, firewall blocks are in place, public relations is involved, etc. Adam can also view the collaboration that's happening to bring this event to a swift resolution. Some folders were automatically generated when the major security incident was created, as well as a log of the Teams chat related to the incident. All of the information provided is crucial to Adam as it helps him manage the crisis from a single dashboard. Equally important is the ability for Adam to provide regular status reports to his stakeholders like Sarah and the other executives. Fortunately, he's able to do just that with the built-in reporting function. He's also able to keep track of all of the assets and people that are affected by the incident, as well as review the associated security incidents and vulnerability remediation tasks. Since this major security incident started with an exploit, Sarah's next stop is with the vulnerability manager, Carla, to see how the organization is doing in handling the vulnerability. Logging into the Vulnerability Manager workspace, Carla can see that a watch topic has already been created for this particular vulnerability. Watch topics allow her to quickly set up a view using custom variables, like monitoring for a new high-profile vulnerability. She can also create and monitor the status of remediation efforts set up to patch the vulnerabilities. Carla drills down one more level and can see that three remediation tasks have been assigned. These can be assigned based on a variety of different variables, like geographic location, Windows and Linux teams, etc. In this case, they're assigned by geography. Clicking down one more level, Carla can now see that progress that's been made to patch each vulnerability, who's responsible for it, and, if needed, can take direct action, like creating a change request to assign work via ITSM. All of this work 
had previously been handled by spreadsheets and email, which resulted in huge delays in both identification of vulnerabilities and their remediation. By transforming the processes and workflows they used to handle enterprise security, customers similar to the one we just looked at have seen a 93% reduction in high priority incidents, an 88% reduction in the time to resolve security incidents, and are able to drive overall response down from hours to minutes, all with the help of ServiceNow. If you'd like to learn more, please visit us at www.servicenow.com forward slash SEC dash OPS. Thank you.